Hi guys, in this video I'm very excited and pleased and, and uh, thrilled to let you know that Adobe Captivate 9 has been released. And of course I wanted to do a series of videos for you on what's new in Captivate 9. Um, right off the bat I can tell you that uh, there's been many improvements to Captivate 9. This isn't one of those cosmetic releases where you know there's been a couple of small changes and you know some of you might be thinking well maybe I'll wait till Captivate 10. No, Captivate 9 is really a hot release. There's some fantastic improvements and I'm going to go through them with you over a series of videos starting with this one where we'll talk with uh, we'll talk a little bit about the enhancements to responsive projects so I'm gonna start off by opening up or creating a new responsive project so by default you end up with um, a responsive project with three different breakpoints one for desktop one for tablet portrait and of course one for mobile portrait but you'll see the addition of a couple of little plus symbols here or icons that allow you to add new breakpoints and these breakpoints if you wish to have them are for new tablet breakpoints for landscape and new mobile breakpoints for landscape as well so now you can have up to five different breakpoints for your responsive design so starting off with your, your desktop view and then your tablet uh, landscape view which is similar to desktop although a little smaller tablet portrait a little taller than it is wider and then so on right down to the smallest being phone portrait so with the addition of the tablet landscape and the mobile landscape you do have the opportunity of deleting those breakpoints if you wish to return to four or even three different breakpoints. It's easily done just by using the delete selected breakpoint button which is located on the upper right hand corner of your page. A couple of other things you can do um, like before you can of course resize uh, your breakpoint so if you wanted to make your desktop maybe a little bit smaller you could resize that accordingly or larger you know what whatever and of course you can manually type in the uh, the pixel width right into this field here so real easy to do um, you can also restrict phone landscape orientation and there's a way you can do this so that the viewer has a very good user experience if you go into your edit drop down menu and then head over to preferences alternatively you can press shift F8 and that'll bring you into the preferences uh, uh, preferences window and if you look under the publish settings um, which is located in the section for project you'll see that there's a new entry for disallowing phone landscape orientation and how you do this is simply check that checkbox off and then it creates a message for your viewer or your learner uh, what you want them to say. You can go with the default message uh, or you can replace this message with something customized that's appropriate for you and your audience so that's a great way to control uh, what your what your viewers actually see as well the other thing about um, about uh, responsive design is that if you're using objects so for example I'll just put a star on the screen here and uh, that's an object that I want to appear across all my breakpoints uh, one of the things I can do and there's two ways of doing this I can right click on the object and then using the alignment sub menu select center horizontally on the slide and then I can also center vertically on the so slide and that will make sure that regardless of which uh, breakpoint that I'm using that star will always appear in that exact location uh, you can access this also from your window drop down menu and select uh, position properties 
and you can control that here. You'll find that in the advanced section where you can see you've got a checkbox for each one there as well. And you don't have to use both, of course. You could uncheck uh, vertically and then you could have, let's say, an absolute position um, for this particular star. Let's say on every slide you want it to be 20 pixels from the top of the screen, but you still want it to remain centered across all the different breakpoints. So you can use a combination of that as well. So now you can see that regardless of which view I'm using, it's always 20 pixels from the top, and it also is centered from left to right as well. So you have uh, a really nice seamless flow across your breakpoints and that gives you a lot more control. Your position uh, panel you'll find to be a lot more useful with the addition of the uh, center alignment as well. Guys, this is only the first of several videos that I'm going to produce on the new features for Adobe Captivate 9. I hope you're excited as I am. Uh, if you want to see more of these uh, videos in the future, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And hey, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.